All right, so when I first looked at doing this Ruger Precision Rifle project with Joey, one of the big things we talked about was what scope we're going to put on this. And I actually kind of left it up to him to figure out what scope he thought would fit this project best. I think he absolutely knocked it out of the park. So this is the Hawk Frontier 30 5 to 25 First Focal Plane Mill Pro. Um, as far as I'm aware, this is Hawk's absolute top of the line uh, precision rifle optic. And this thing, with all the features that it's got cram packed into it, uh, for the price point, this is an absolute perfect fit for not only this particular project, but it would probably fit a lot of your precision rifle needs as well. So this thing has a 30 millimeter, 30 millimeter main tube, 56 millimeter objective. It has four inches of eye relief, which is we've talked about in the past. I am a big fan of having at least have, having over three and three quarter inches of eye relief. So this fits that bill perfectly. Um, the glass quality in this scope, I, I want to touch on glass quality before we talk about anything else. Um, this glass is, this is Hawk's uh, Crown ED glass. This is the same glass as in the uh, Hawk Endurance ED spotting scope that you guys see me use for my ELR and long range videos. Um, that's the same spotting, the same glass that I'm filming through for those videos. Um, there's no video that's going to do this glass justice though because this, uh, you just absolutely have to have to look through this in the daylight. This glass is absolutely phenomenal. Um, I did a little bit of research and the crown glass, um, the crown optical glass, it seems to me like from what I could find, it actually originated in Germany. Um, and these days, most of the crown optical glass is actually manufactured here in the U.S. So um, absolutely top quality glass. I would say this glass is as good as any of the scopes that you're going to come across at the $1,500 and above price point. And that's not how much you're going to have to spend for this Hawk Frontier here. So um, this thing has locking turrets. It has a internal zero stop. Uh, this zero stop is very usable. It's a very easy to set zero stop. Um, one, of the, one of my pet peeves on zero stops is sometimes they're very either they're either, either very confusing to people or if you're not versed in zero stops, you just kind of give up on them. This is not that way. You're going to be able to pull this cap off immediately and look down and see, the, oh, this is how I set my zero stop. So this thing has the Mill Pro reticle, uh, hence the Mill Pro. Um, and this reticle, I will say, is one of the only things that I was not a huge fan of with this scope. Um, this is a it, this reticle is a Christmas tree style reticle. Um, there's a couple of things that I really like and a couple of things that I'm not a huge fan of. So one of the things that I really like is the fact that with the Christmas tree, all your wind hold dots, as far as where it comes down on your holdovers, all of those are very small, um, very very tiny, and they don't get in the way of your your sight picture. Um, the actual reticle itself, though, the actual subtensions in the reticle, in the crosshairs, um, are very large, larger than I would like, and it doesn't have any sort, the actual center aiming point um, doesn't have like a small dot as an aiming point, and it actually comes, seems to be fairly crowded as everything comes together. So that is one of the only things that I have found in this particular scope that I was not a huge fan of was the way that the subtensions kind of crowd your aiming point. This thing has an illuminated reticle. Um, so you, you do have this thing. This thing does have the illuminated reticle. Um, and this thing parallaxes down to actually it, the lowest setting on here is 15 yards. And it actually goes past that. And with this extremely good glass and, and, that, and this parallax setting, um, I had no issues dial to focusing this thing perfectly at any distance from 10 yards all the way out to infinity so this thing is awesome if you're looking at setting something up for like a 22 prs style rifle this thing um, does have the diopter or fast focus eyepiece as most scopes do um this thing doesn't it doesn't have a huge whole lot of adjustment but with the extremely high quality glass that you have here um you don't need all that adjustment because there has not been any, I've not found any issue with being able to really fine tune in my reticle using the diopter at, at any distance. Um, the turrets in this thing, the turrets are extremely crisp and tactile, even though I hate it when people say that. Um, this, that is absolutely true with this particular scope. Um, these, this, the turrets on this are extremely tactile, um, very crisp and when you are set on something, there is no trying to distinguish, oh, am I on 0.5 or 0.6? No, you actually know for sure when you got this thing set and exactly where it's set. So that was another big plus to this. Um, 
we did a full tracking test on this. These turrets do have eight full mils of, of travel per rotation. And I did do a full tracking test. Now in the past, I've always, when I do my tracking test, I usually post a full video of a tracking test the day before I do the scope review. But I've found in the past that those tracking test videos don't get a whole lot of views. There's not a whole lot of interest in a lone tracking test. So I figured I would just throw that information here in with the actual scope review. So this thing tracked, out of all the scopes that we've done uh, tracking tests on, I've only had one that has passed with 100%. Now I have two. This is the second scope that has passed with a 100% perfect tracking test. Now obviously this is a sample of one but I feel pretty confident with as rugged as this thing is built, um, as high quality as everything is in this, um, you're not going to have any issues with variances in your tracking if you were to pick up one of these Hawk Frontiers. Um, this thing has 19 mils, actually it's advertised with 19 mils of internal adjustment. I did disengage the zero stop to see exactly how much internal adjustment I could get out of this and it actually came out to 22 mils. Um, now this is, like I said, the top of the line model with the 5 to 25. Um, by looking on their website, their five or their 4 to 20 model actually has a little bit more internal adjustment, um, and but it does have a smaller objective lens, so it has a 50 millimeter objective and I do believe like 23 or 24 mils of internal adjustment. That may be a little bit off, but it, it definitely has more internal adjustment than the, 20, the 5 to 25 model. Um, this thing comes with, it comes with your flip up caps, it comes with a sunshade, and it comes with the zoom lever. So none of this stuff you're gonna have to buy extra. One of the things I will say about these flip up caps, um, I've got a lot of different scopes with flip-up caps. This is probably my favorite iteration of a flip-up cap. Now, I, I found a use for this uh, that I've never thought of with a, with a flip-up cap. So, um, typically, you know, I'm not a I'm not a huge fan of sunshades. I find sometimes that sunshades cause more trouble than they're worth. Um, now, I was shooting this and with the sun directly in my face a while back, and with the sun directly in my face. I was finding that it was washing my, my view out um, and I was able to, instead of having this flipped all the way back, flip this forward and it shaded the front of the reticle or the front of my objective just enough that it worked better than, I, than the sunshade would have worked in that place. So that is another use for a flip up cap like this that this does come with um, that I had not thought about before until shooting this one and needing it and it absolutely working for what I needed it for. So uh, a full overview of this, I would say that this scope not only is a perfect fit for this, this is, a, this is the six Creedmoor RPR stock barrel, everything. I don't plan to shoot this thing past a mile, um, maybe at some point, but I don't plan to do a lot of ELR with this. There's only 10 mils of holdover in this reticle. Um, but for something like a like PRS shooting where I'm not going to be shooting out to extreme long ranges. This thing has more than enough travel for that. It has absolute top quality glass. I would go as far as to say that this is the best glass sitting in my safe and that's saying a lot. Um, and that's, and that's how good this glass is. Um, so for PRS this thing would be an absolute winner of a scope. It's, gonna, it's built like a rock. It's going to last you forever. Um, for something like NL, NRL 22 with it parallaxing down to under 15 power or under 15 yards and out to infinity with the extremely high quality glass you're going to be able to see your targets at any distance completely clearly um, and with the locking turrets and huge objective this scope would be awesome for long range hunting you're going to be able to if you're going through the woods you're going to be able to lock your turret in place and not have to worry about it spinning off um, or hitting it on a tree and having it move when you have it set to a certain spot and uh, with this huge objective you have a huge field so you can scan more area um, so if you're hunting you know how important that is so this has been the full review of the Hawk Frontier 5 to 25 first focal plane mill pro um, I do plan to have a full review coming of the Hawk Endurance spotting scope as well here in the near future so be on the lookout for that um, hope you guys are looking for a new scope for your precision rifle needs you may want to check out the Hawk Frontier here so I'll see you guys next time I'm out.